Welcome to iLecture Online. In this example, we will still have two real distinct roots, but one of them will be equal to zero. How does that change the format of the general equation or the general solution? Well, stick around and see for yourself. So we start out with a differential equation that has y double prime plus 8y prime equals zero. The characteristic equation for that will be as follows. It will be r squared plus 8 times r, the constant term is missing, equal 0. Solve this for r to find the roots. We can factor out an r. This gives us r times r plus 8 equals 0, which leaves us with two solutions or two roots to this. We have r1 is equal to 0, because 0 times this gives us 0, or r plus 8 equals 0 which means that r equals minus 8, which becomes the second root. So here are the two roots to that characteristic equation. Again, plugging those into the general format of the solution, we get y, let's say it's a function of t, is equal to c1 e to the r1t plus c2 e to the r2t. Now, since our first root is 0, this becomes c1 e to the 0 times t plus, and of course 0 times t is still 0, times c2 e to the minus 8 times t. Now e to the 0 is simply 1, so you can say that the general solution obtained from using this characteristic equation is c1 plus c2 e to the minus 8t. And so that will be the general format of the general solution of a second-order linear homogeneous differential equation if one of the roots is equal to zero. And that will be the general form of it.